coming in. What's he coming in with, a guitar and a keyboard? That's it. Good. He's going to sound great. You just missed one of the greatest moments. What happened? The, the record company guy said to Phil, you know, he's pumping you up and talking about how great you are and everything. And yeah. Goes, you know, like in, in, in Philadelphia, you know, Howard's on a 32 market. And in Philadelphia, you know, there's 15 radio stations. A two share is good. Howard's got a 33 share. Right. Phil Collins just put both his hands on his shoulders. He says, I don't care. All I know is I'm up very early to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? So he's in a good mood. No, no, he's in a great mood. Right. It's very funny. Right. <laughs> I love those rock stars because they know nothing about this time of the morning. Right. They don't even know it exists. They are creatures of the night. What's Phil got a new album out? Yep. Yes, he does. Huh. This is a uh, first solo effort since announcing that he was quitting Genesis. I thought he quit Genesis years ago. No, no, no. They were still together until a little while ago. Yeah, screw those guys. He did much better without them. Because he had, he had three really big solo records, and then he went back and made another Genesis Yeah, and record. I'm sure he said thank God, because he gets all the residuals from his own solo record. And he went back to see what it was like to share, and he didn't like that. No. Fred, Freddie took some notes on him. If you take all his solo records and his Genesis records, he sold over 200 million records. What songs will he be performing today? I'm going to give you a list. You, you, you can choose from. Oh, really? You know, the other funny thing I heard about him, he was, ho he was, somebody asked him the other day, well, do you think Genesis will split up now that you've dropped out of the band? And he says, well, I hope not, because what's going to happen to the crew? You know, all those roadies that have been working off hey, screw them. all those years. He says, I hope they go on so that the roadies will have a job. Oh, man. What songs you got there, Baba Booey? Give me a choice. Okay, so let's do that. All right. What do I have here? In the air tonight. We could do that one. Sure. People like that. Let's sort of check off ones we like. All right. Oh, anything on that list? Well, he said he would do, you know, some of his best songs. All right, what are some of his best songs? Well, you've got the list. All right, here, I'll read it to you. Missed Again. How's Missed Again go? Missed oh. Again. Yeah. Oh, well, I missed again. Oh. Uh -huh. right. No, I don't want to hear that one. <laughs> uh, in the Air Tonight. I want to hear In the Air in Tonight. In the Air Tonight, okay. All right. Uh, you Can't Hurry Love is a Supreme song. Yeah. I don't want to hear that because that's the Supremes. Yeah, okay. We'll get the Supremes to right. do that. Why do I need Phil to do that? Uh, I Don't Care Anymore. I don't care anymore. That's from the Divorce album. That's a good one. I don't one. That's care no Which Divorce? Oh, he's had like three of them. I the think second. it was the second, second. The first one. No, the first one. Well, yeah, the first, the first one. one. Well, this guy knows how to tell a woman off. Oh, man, he writes whole song, wreck albums about it. Phil Collins is my hero. He gets married, he wants to get out of it, boom, he's out. I don't care anymore. Get right, I don't here. care anymore. <laughs> um, and he dates. He's married to like a 20-year-old now. I don't think he's married to her. I Smart. think maybe he's learned. Yeah, let's ask Phil how, like, I've been married 20 years now. How does one go home and uh, get rid of their wife? <laughs> hey, listen, man, when you're a rock star, you know how much temptation there is? Too I think much. I think I have a lot of temptation. But they have it. Yeah, well, you know what the difference is. In a whole is? different arena. Yeah, yeah, for you, you got to go home every day. Right. He's on the road for six, eight months at a time. Right. He so can he, forget. Yeah, he forgets he's married. <laughs> I bet you could. Well, why don't you bring Phil in? As long as we're okay. sitting here, why don't yeah. we uh, talk to him? We can talk to him while they get set we're up. We're preambling. <laughs> talk to him before he runs away. Let's, right. let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. <laughs> I think it's more fun to talk about him than to talk to him. <laughs> yeah. Follow me oh, you know, no cigarettes. You gotta, talk you gotta about go in. You gotta go in. <laughs> this is the way we talk about This is, wait a minute. There's three shots. Yeah. This is my wife, <laughs> Lorna. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet Phil you. Phil Collins. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Phil run out? No, no. You know how you can't, like, stop Uncle Milty? So Uncle Milty's doing shtick for the camera, and I go, Uncle Milty, I need Phil. He's like, wait a minute. You just wait a minute. Oh, he God. ran you so out I can't tear Phil away from Uncle Milty. All right, so why don't we take a break? Uh, and then we can bring it to the And then we'll bring it to the Yeah, okay, that'll be good. That'll be even be better. Uh, 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 All right. You know, you, can, you can't tell Milty anything. No, well, that's why they that's why they had to throw him off television. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't listen. <laughs> they couldn't take it. So anyway, don't let him All take right, on too break. much. We'll be back and right don't be afraid to answer him, because he's a schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> Schmuck is? Oh, yes. <laughs> Where do you learn this? Not in England. <laughs> Same phrase? Oh, schmuck. Yeah, I use schmuck a lot. Yeah. You don't use your schmuck a lot, but you... <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. Anyway, Take care, lots sir. of good luck. Yeah. And that's enough from you. That's <laughs> that was some very good... enough of this very... bullshit. In fact, it's more of a challenge before you get famous to get laid. They almost take the challenge out of it once you get famous. It's true. This is exciting. Got Phil Collins to do a couple of songs. And with him today is uh, Daryl. Daryl, you were in Genesis. Yes, I am. Yeah. 
So that's good. I don't know if I was or I am. You are in jail. Oh, yeah. What are, is that band still together or what? I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess it's up to Phil, huh? Well, I, I think they're going to continue without him. Well, at least Phil, uh, oh, we gonna, you're not going to get Peter Gabriel again, are you? I don't think so. He was a pain in the ass, right? <laughs> uh, I wasn't there then. Oh, you weren't? Oh, yeah. okay. I see. All right. And on keyboard, we got uh, Brad Cole. Hey. That's right. Wait, let me see if that's working. Say something now. Hi, everybody. Okay. I got it under control today. Phil, how you doing, man? Oh, hey, look at that. Shake my hand, for God's sake. <laughs> I won't kill he you. He doesn't look like he's so happy to be here. Yeah, well, I'm not happy to be here. Why should he be Come happy on, to be here? When they show up on Letterman, they smile. Yeah. Uh, Phil looks happy. I'm okay. Yeah, he's all right. I mean, he's not thrilled, but no. who is thrilled to be here? <laughs> Nobody's not thrilled, thrilled to be here. You're thrilled well, I just here. got my bagel. You know, it's like two bits of bread, and there's nothing in it. Nothing. Well, like, then you could be eating this. You should have some breakfast for people when they come. Oh, you want some right. breakfast? I'll give you what I'm eating. Yeah, no, you no, really no, want to puke. I'm not touching that. Yeah. Anyway, Phil, of course, you had so many great hits. We were just talking. About I you. heard you talking about me. What a great life. You're my hero. Uh, I got to tell you, I you're really the life. man. Right. I've been married 17 years to the same woman, and I went out with her for five years before I married her, all right? How long have you Go done with, with one punishment. woman? He was His first wife was a long time. How yeah, long have you married? I done? Yeah. Oh, I, I know. I was with my... Uh... I was with my first wife uh, from school. From school? Yeah. yeah. And what is it, you know, when you hit the rock star thing? That's Like, tough. I never knew I'd be famous. I'm kind of famous. Not like your kind of fame, where you're known all over the that's, world. That's but, right. But I'm I'm famous uh, here in uh, certain areas. And, uh, <laughs> in a, 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 you know, a block yeah. radius. And there are certain ladies <laughs> who are attracted to me, believe it or not, and I could get. And yet, uh, I'm, I'm torn. Well, I'm <clears throat> torn. I got to admit, I am torn. I love my wife. You know, mm -hmm. she's a wonderful woman, but I've been with her for 20 years. Right. I'm ready to exercise my... Uh, my uh, there are no options. options. Yeah. There Whoever, are no options. You know, when you were a young man, seriously. Uh, two I more mean, bits of drive. Oh, no, there's something in the middle of this one. Yeah, don't worry about that. When you were a young man, you didn't get laid all the time, right? It was hard. And then all of a sudden, you became famous and every woman wanted you. Am I correct? Well, no, actually. When I was young, mm -hmm. it was much more... Um, much more exciting. It was. Mm. You mean before you got famous? Well, yeah. When I was at school, you know, that's when uh, that's when everything happened. And I think then, it was. And then you start to sort of be a little uh, cautious after that. In fact, it's more of a challenge before you get famous to get laid. They almost take the challenge out of it once you get famous. It's true. Yeah, I'm because telling everybody's you. just throwing themselves. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, you should have seen. I had to throw people on the way into the room today. <laughs> well, imagine, <laughs> imagine having this face. And, uh, <laughs> I can't imagine that. <laughs> no one can. Oh. It's pretty bad. No, you're, you're, oh, very, Phil. you're a very attractive man, Howard. <laughs> Yeah. I'd like you to come home with me after. Really? Well, that's very gracious of you, I must say. Anyway, Phil, of course, uh, we were talking about Genesis, the fact that you were in Genesis and how great it was. What a pain in the ass Peter Gabriel was. I mean, what an absolute prick the man was. And, uh, yeah, you had him up here, right? No, no never, never had him up here. Why, Wouldn't allow why, him up here. Why have you got a gold album of his in your, in your office? Uh, do I really? Yeah. Uh, th that's probably someone gave it to us and we're hiding a crack in the wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> Believe me, it has nothing to do with him. I thought he'd been up here. I thought <laughs> no. Peter's been up here. Now, if he's been up here, he wasn't with me. Uh, the fact is, I like the fact that he left the group, and the group did better without him. <laughs> now, how happy did that make you? Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't yeah. ready for an answer. Um, uh, yeah. Made you very happy, right? No. Be uh, honest. Well, at the time, you see, everybody thought that Peter did everything. Right. Um, Got all the credit. <clears throat> yeah, well, singers always do. They think I do everything. Right. But, um, <laughs> they're right. But you were writing most of the songs for Genesis and not getting the credit that you richly deserved. Well, the five of us were writing the songs, and, and, but because he was the singer and he was the, doing the interesting thing visually, he was put on the front page of all the papers. And how so shocking was it that the drummer, right. no less, could step forward and become the front man? Nobody ever expects it to be the drummer. Exactly. Never. Nobody yeah. thinks the drummer does anything. Never the drummer. Uh, but, uh, He's not even a musician. Drummer. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it's, 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 it's true. No, I'm a singer. I can say that. Yeah, what was but, the joke uh, about the drummer? Drummer Jackie, who the hangs uh, around, uh, who, hangs, who around. hangs around rock bands, yeah, the yeah. drummer, uh, something like that. How do you know yeah, when yeah. there's a drummer at the door? Because his knocking <laughs> speeds up. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is that that uh, you uh, you've had a blessed career, am I correct? Yes, I've that's been right. Very lucky. And then recently in London they gave you crap because you left your wife <clears> and stuff, right? Now I didn't understand that. Why are they giving you crap? Everybody does that all the time. Well, I guess it was because um, they didn't expect me to do it. Really? Yeah, like you're the family man. Or well, something. What, wait a minute. What happened with the first marriage? Because you were really bitter about that one. Were you? I'd be I happy if upset. I was upset. You were? You know, yeah, I was upset when someone leaves you. She left you. Yes, Boy, when someone leaves you. What was she you'd thinking? Be upset about it. She left Phil Collins. Yeah, but she didn't care. That, that is I so was Phil stupid. Collins. I was, I was. What had you done? <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't leave I Phil Collins. I was on tour. Yeah, and she, and you came home. She was gone. Oh, kind of, yeah. yeah wow. But how soon but were I was you on tour for about a year? You know, and yeah. and, and that that. Uh, <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. And she probably figured you were cheating on her anyway because you did, but I didn't. And you didn't. You didn't.
Now that's what standing with. That's, that's stupid. That is. <laughs> it really is. That's, that's stupid to not do that. Right. See, you know, but I'm, I, it's like I believe that if I'm doing that over there, then she could be doing that over there. That's right. So I don't do that over there. Oh, man, I would have been wow. doing that. Imagine the groupies you had to turn down. Oh, for Christ's sake. I mean, and the other guys were probably going crazy. Yeah. Maybe. And to you were watching him from the sidelines. To me in life, that's the only like thing. to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I like to do something. Yeah. But uh, so then you could go out and start dating, right? Which was really happening because uh, now you're Phil Collins' famous rock star. And uh, now you're free to date. So you yeah. went and started dating and that was good. Well, no, actually, I am. But you I'm, got married I'm, right away. Yeah. So you're like me. I probably now, do something silly there? like what that. Happened? Just... <laughs> I mean, something really stupid. I always told you that would be your M.O. <laughs> yeah, Robin's theory is if I ever got a divorce, that I'd go out and get married to the first right woman away. I did. Right away. Right and she's away. probably right. The lawyer's law. Well. Yeah. So, yeah, there's something... Um... <laughs> I'd marry the lawyer handling the divorce. <laughs> yeah. So is that what happened to you? Well, actually, I did have a female uh, lawyer. Well, you did? Yeah. Uh, but you didn't marry her? No, I didn't marry her. Right. I liked her, though. But I bet your second wife was really hot. I mean, she must have been, like, like supermodel or something, right? <laughs> it was a whole different story. You know, I, I, I knew I knew this. I knew this, would be, I knew this would be the conversation. <laughs> well, what else is there to talk about but chicks? I mean, seriously. We know the music. Yeah, we know your songs. Right. <laughs> well, everybody else knows about my private life, too. So. Really? I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it is terribly embarrassing, in a way, for everyone to know about your private life. But that's stardom. I mean, that's what it comes with. But you're not the kind of guy who's that high profile. You kind of keep a low... Uh, a low well, profile. he always had sort of a yeah. stable life. Well, well you know, how boring. Um, I just uh, there comes a time when when some, when stuff comes, you know, where I think that the, uh, the 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 press and stuff, you know, they just don't know don't know where to stop. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I sure don't. God. <laughs> I, I still got to get this straight, though. How soon after the divorce did you get married? Why is she in a box? Well, because I can ask the tough questions. She's like, a, she's like Peter Gabriel. They had to put her in a box. You knew your wife was going to leave you. And it was in There's the air tension, tonight. Yeah, it was a tension. How soon after the divorce did he get married again? But you waited a year. Boom, you're back, you're back being married how, again. How, how soon after the divorce did I get married again? Um, it was when I got married. It was about five years before I got married again. Yeah, but how, uh, you know, were you dating that time or did you meet yes, her right I, away? No, I, 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 met, uh, I met Jill pretty, um, pretty soon after, I, kind yeah. of within a year or two. And was she like a yeah. supermodel or something? Mm, no, man. she was just a nice lady. Really? Yeah. Oh, I need a supermodel. That's what, what she I did want. For I know. Living? I saw you with Kelly, Kelly LeBrock the other night. You seem very, very horny to get home. Yo, yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, you've been dating. You're lucky. Anybody. I haven't gotten a hold of anything. I, I rub up against his way in. Too. I rub against this piece of wood. I'm happy. <laughs> That's unbelievably. I mean, well, it's it's very difficult. If I had but not, you don't get worried. You don't get saying all those things about Steven Seagal. You don't worry the fact that he's twice the size of you. And... Let me tell you. I could kick his ass. First of all, yeah. uh, he can't even lift his leg at this point. Have you seen some of his? At least I could outrun him. I could outrun him. Guys built like a whale. What kind of karate <laughs> man? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Steven Seagal's going to kick my ass. Uh, uh, his last movie is so funny. Yeah. Because he's walking around with that big belly trying to kick butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure I can do a karate movie at this point. Yeah, I'll kick his ass. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know him, so I've... So anyway, I have no feelings. But what's good about your love life is that it inspires all your music. Because sometimes they even <laughs> that when they write about you, they say, "Hey, you know, Phil Collins has his divorce album, yes. and he's right. angry." Yeah. yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden, when you're in love, is he got his love album? It's good. I think well, he's okay. in love again. It's oh, a little yeah. predictable. That's all. <laughs> now is this new album a love album? Because you're in love again, right? <clears throat> Very much so, uh, but it's not. No, I, I thought that's enough of that. It's <laughs> true, these I, girls. <laughs> yeah, right. Why why? Should I, uh... Stop sharing your life with the rest of the world. So what'd you do? Did you get like Sting and start writing about the rainforest and stuff? <laughs> or what? <laughs> <laughs> what'd you do? No, I just uh, just started just writing about other things. Really? Yeah, it's just about time, you know? I hear your new song, um, They Always Take 50%. <laughs> It's the best song ever on the new album. <laughs> it's, uh, it's unbelievable. Now, that I like. Yeah, they always take 50%, but then they don't take 60. That's right. Yeah. And uh, in England, they take 60, I think. I think that's what it is. Well, yeah. they, 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 there was a talk of, I mean, certain, you know, governments sort of when they get in. I don't mind giving 50%. You don't? I mean, no, I, well, I don't you... mind. I mean, I, I would do it without question. Right, as long as you feel your money's going to something decent. Like well, your ex-wife. Like, yeah, right. Fifty percent of fifty percent. Yeah. But, so, um, but now you're happy. I hear. I hear. Oh that, yes, uh, you, I'm very happy. You got some. But how did you now? How long did the Hello, second marriage the last? Talking. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> the second marriage. Last? Robin's more interested in your dating history. <laughs> so you. Uh, so the second marriage lasted how long? Oh, 14 years. 14 uh, years? From when we met. So that's we... long enough. And, yeah. and how do you, how, what happened to that? <laughs> well, that went the way that uh, marriages go when they stop. Right. 
<laughs> well, I wouldn't know what that is, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew what it was, you wouldn't be so you wouldn't be talking about it in such flippant terms. I'm telling you, I don't. Mm. So you got to make. She's sure. never been married. I've no. never been married. She's never been married, and she's smart. She knows better. She knows better. She always ends up wacky. Yeah, whatever it takes. Everybody, um, whatever it takes. Right, but you're in love now, and that's the whole thing. That's, that's yeah, what, I've been reading about you. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's been reading about me. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Robin, you can get Phil, maybe. You got to jump over here. I, I, I'm trying to find out exactly what he wants. <laughs> now, on this new album... I can't tell you what I want on the air, babe. Right, hey, Phil, you've agreed graciously to do some songs for us this morning, which I would like to hear. Yeah. That would be nice. Yes, we've, done a, we've got a couple of songs we can play you. Super. So, should I take a break? I'll give you a chance to warm up. I don't think need so. a test. Oh, you don't need a break? Really? Oh, this, that's is, this is as good as it gets. That's awfully yeah. professional. <laughs> this is as Very good as it good. gets. Now, let's see. What song are we doing first? Well, I don't mind because I'm sitting over here. And uh, it's, it's uh, now we got in the air tonight. You want to do that for us? Well, I'm sitting over here, and that's over there. I could do that first, or we can do the other one first. I wonder which, uh, which, which period this was for Phil in the air tonight. Was this the happy album or the sad album? Oh, this is the this was the, the very album. this is the very bitter. And when you write a song like this, what is it? Just come into your head all of a sudden? This one did. It did. You mean you're just sitting around? I mean, you've written so many great tunes. What are you just sitting around one day and a song just flies into your head? Tell me how that works. No, I, I mean, actually, this song I, I I didn't intend to make an album with this first album, Face Value. I just started to write some songs, you know, because as messages to my first wife, in fact. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and the first one, one of the first ones I wrote was in the air tonight. Mm. And, and this is I, to your first wife? Well, the album, the, the song is on the, on the album. Yeah, this one, I don't know what it's about, because the first one uh, that's in the air tonight was, the lyrics just came out. Maybe it was about you knew your wife was going to leave you. And it was in There's the air tension. tonight. Yeah, there was a tension in the air tonight. Who knows? You said yeah. all these stories. This this song has got. A lot I used to listen story. to the song on radio. I had no idea any of this was about this. You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, what everyone's, was got in the the, air. everyone's got their own thing. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's got their own story. About There's it. a lot of rumors about this yeah. song. People, are, and, no, and even Phil himself and, doesn't and know. And everybody can have their own meaning. Yeah. yeah. That's right. I didn't know what it's about. In the air could have been his wife was on a plane with someone else. In the air tonight. Seriously, could have been that literal. We don't know. Exactly. I'm in the middle of writing my first song. But wait a minute. What's that, Howard? Well, I have a soundtrack coming out to my new movie private parts on paramount pictures that'll be out in march and uh, i on the uh, on the uh, album the soundtrack album the acting thing as well oh yes yeah. do you have a book out i've had two books out well, two best sellers look, look behind you look behind you that's my new paperback as a matter of fact howard Miss america. america that's right i saw this advertised on the television there. yes both critically acclaimed by the way phil will you uh, autograph a copy for me absolutely not <clears throat> now, uh, I'm much too big. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Right <laughs> I'd be honored to uh, uh, autograph one for you. You ready? Oh, for, for in the air tonight? Let's do a little in the air tonight. Bye, Bob, that green. 
Hey, that sounded nice. Yeah, we, we just did half of it because we figured it's yeah, right. too long. Don't you, don't you goof on all these lead singers always having trouble with their voices and everything? You just get in there, you sing. It doesn't matter what time of day it this is. This is a lie-in, Harold. I've been getting out really early. Yeah, this is nice. That was good. What did you think of that, Robin? That was great. Hey, you know what? We'll take a break, <laughs> and I'm going to do a sound adjustment also. Okay. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna tweak things. If tweak things. Yeah. <laughs> just like a, a bit. Just yeah. This a is bit. very, this is very exciting. Phil Collins' new album, by the mm. way. Phil, will do something from the album too. Dance into the light, right there. You see. Whoa. You can tell everyone I'm a down disgrace. Drag my name all over the place. I don't care. Collins is here promoting his new album, which is out, CD now, not an album. That's right. It's called uh, Dancer to the Light. I was just telling Phil that I'm really not a disc jockey, that I'm a movie star. Yes, you and were that, trying to... Yeah, elevate myself in his I eyes, see. because it's embarrassing to be a disc jockey still at this age. At this, uh, you know, <laughs> at this point, <laughs> I really should be something else. This time in the morning. Yeah, I am not a, a disc jockey. I am more of a personality. I'm an author and a uh, movie well, star. Well, Phil's not all choked up with the movie industry. Why, you know? you're not? Oh, well, no, I like it, you know, but I mean, I'll ask people if I can work, and if they don't give me work, then... then uh... Screw them, you got enough money. Well, you know. No, actually, I, I'd still like to do some more acting. I love it. I you figure know. you're worth about, what, 100 million? You got easily... You know how many albums? 200 million, they say. 200 million. I can't believe that. When you saw... I, I've got 50 million in my garage, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, right. Other, the other 150 million, I can't believe are out there somewhere. You so can now know. figure out the math, Robin, if, a, if an album... If he got a dollar <clears> an let's album. Say, let's say you got a dollar an album. Yeah. If you sold 200 million albums, that would be like 12 million dollars. <laughs> you realize that? At least, didn't it? But then you got to figure that's not even touring. Right. He tours all the time. No, 200 million that's records, true. and uh, he gets a dry bagel. So imagine uh, <laughs> if you don't sell that. But um, that's that's the world of radio. No, but I mean, you got to be worth 150 million dollars. I'm going to say. How's that? Am I close? Yeah, I don't know. I, I could be. You don't even but know. Probably more. But what do you do? Like, do you have an accountant who handles all that? You got to be careful. You get ripped off like you Sting. You got a whole company handling that. Yeah, my that, accountant wasn't in yesterday when I called him. Right? <laughs> we had uh, we had we had Sting in here. Sting's He's, still looking for that. Account. Sting still has no money. <laughs> Sting was suing this guy who ran off with all his money. Yeah, but he got it. Oh, he Robin's really snippy this morning. <laughs> you got the money back, right, Sting? Got, they gave me the money. The bank gave me the money. Oh, right. did they? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. He hardly, the reason he was missing the money in the first place, he hardly knows he was missing. <laughs> well, that was the funniest thing when he's trying to explain in court how the money's coming in so fast you can't keep, you can't keep track, track of it. it. It's sad when it happens, isn't it? I mean, you, yeah. you, you trust people. Yeah. Is that what happens? Well, I've got some great people working working for me. Yeah, where are they all? In Hawaii yeah. or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, on the They're on vacation. <laughs> no, but you keep a close eye on all that? Are you a businessman as well? Or no, you... I'm not a businessman at all. Really? No. I just, I, I do what I do. And I enjoy doing it. And right. whilst I'm doing what I'm doing, someone shovels money in a bucket, you know? I told Sting that he should have been more uh, aware. You know what his accountant's name was? What? John Smith. <laughs> I said, you know, they, you should... Don't you should, fall for anything Don't fall like for that. that. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> anyway, uh, so... But does he... He doesn't look at price tags or anything. Anything you want, you just basically say, I can have that. I could... Yeah, sometimes I do, but most of the time I'm pretty... I'm, I'm as careful with money as if I didn't have it. Really? Because really? yeah. you get nervous. But how many homes well, do you I, have, let's say? I have, I don't, I don't have, I don't own a house. Really? You don't? What do you have, like how apartments? No, I... <laughs> <laughs> what do you have, exactly? I sleep in the Jeep. No, I have, I have one house in Switzerland. That's it? Where I live in Switzerland. I have one house and I, I'm not allowed to own that by Swiss law yeah. until I've been there for five years. Uh-huh. I heard you own Portugal, is that true? <laughs> 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 that you own the country. entire place. <laughs> Yeah, so he doesn't have a house there, but he owns all the place. In the country, you... Switzerland, huh? You're yeah. living up there. Now, what the hell, Switzerland? What are you going to do up there? Uh, those people are annoying, aren't they? The Swiss. They're very tall. Well, they know. never can decide what side to be on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that's their reputation. Everybody thinks of Switzerland. They think of mountains, lederhosen, you know, right. leather shorts, and those big old pipes that they blow. Yes. And uh, skiing and chocolate and cuckoo clocks. So you like it there? You have fun there. <laughs> Well, no, Switzerland is not that. I mean, it's, some of Switzerland, I guess, is like that, but the German part of Switzerland is quite a large part. Right. And this is a geography lesson now, but the French part yes. is actually where I live, and it's a very, very nice place. Look, it's, right by, it's right by Geneva, which has got the lake. And you own that house I, there? No, no I don't he doesn't. Own that house. Don't own it. It's no? just a place you rent. 
Yeah, because I've been there two and a half years. When I've been there five years, I could own it if I I see, I'm able to I buy see, it. I and see. you like living in Switzerland? I love it. Well, I'm in love. I, I my, my lady. I, I moved to Switzerland because the. Oh, he's got some lady. You got a model, right? No. It's not a model? No, you oh. see, this is all... I, I read you had a 20-year-old yes, model. Yes, you read. You read. When oh, have you read something that's right? What do I know? Oh, I, listen, I'm not he's, living with you. You're irritating. <laughs> <me>. <laughs> I'm irritating <laughs> Phil. <laughs> we were getting along. You're not irritating me at all. No, no, no. Okay, so who is this uh, lady that you're with? She must uh, be hot. She's a very lovely lady. Oh, yeah. I need I, that. I, I, now, how did you meet her? How do you meet Phil Collins? Yeah, how does a girl get uh, into your pants? She was, uh... <laughs> she was... Robin, you want to know how to... I do. Oh, you made me laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Come on, this is a serious question. Let the guy answer. Sorry, right. How do you get into Phil Collins' pants? <laughs> Will you stop? By way of the front. <laughs> okay. Tell me, how's a woman no, get close you to you? Um, no. I know, I, we met while I was on the road, but she but she was actually employed to do, um, by, by the promoter, this to sort of make sure that I got from A to B and back oh. to A again. Oh. But on the way... <laughs> on the way, she you... She did make sure you got from A to B. Yeah. And you know where B was. <laughs> and uh, Nice. No, we, we met, and um, but it wasn't, you know... But the roadies didn't pick her up. just to say that yeah. it wasn't a rock and roll thing. It wasn't? No, it wasn't a rock and roll thing. Oh, it, was yeah. a, it was a very lovely meeting. Nice. A very special story, very romantic story. And you, and you romance and a woman, or can, can a Phil Collins just get a woman in bed the first night? I don't know. Phil Collins has never tried. Really? No. You don't try to get a woman in the first day? Well, it doesn't happen that often, you know. I mean, uh, there's, I think, with, I mean, apart from the odd exception, I think rock and roll stars generally are not the way they'd, like, they'd like to be perceived. You're you telling know? us you never had a groupie? Oh, Phil. Actually, <laughs> uh, maybe once or twice while the first thing was, was on its way down. Yeah. Here. That's what I'd be doing. That's it. I'd be wow. knocking off a bitch, uh, 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 I mean, uh, <laughs> I'd be knocking off a different Excuse woman every day. Me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, uh, Just, although look at Jagger. Yeah, look at me. He Mick. can barely keep it in his pants. <laughs> you know him, right? Oh, uh, we've met once or twice. Oh, really? You got any famous friends you hang out with? You like uh, famous dudes? Um, we don't hang, you know, no one, we don't hang out. I mean, uh, who's want to come to Switzerland, you know? Yeah. Um, no, I, I used to know Eric very well. Oh, Eric, Eric Clapton? Clapton? Yeah. Very, very good friend. Great he, friend of mine. He's doing Cheryl Crow. I go. How's that? Well, Did you I, know that? I didn't know that. Oh, I, yeah. I haven't seen Eric since I've been actually out of England. Is that right? Which is a couple of years. But, but I, we used to spend an awful lot of time together. And I love him dearly. Really? Fun guy? Yeah. Really? What do you just sit there and talk about? You used to talk about music all the time? I mean, when a guy, yeah, like, Eric Clapton, would come over your house and just hang out? What, would you guys jam? Yeah, we'd watch television. We'd watch really? Movies, we'd... Hold a second. Eric Clapton comes to your house and you sit on a couch and watch movies? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Jesus Christ. What I, kind of movies? I've had, like, I've had celebrities... <laughs> Uh, say, hey, come on over and hang out with me, and I don't go because I wouldn't know what to do. I'm going to sit there and watch a movie with somebody. I mean, what would yeah, I if say? You, if, if you were a friend of theirs, if right. we got really close, Howard, yes. which I feel we could. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't count on it. <laughs> you wouldn't want to know me. <laughs> You'd be sick. Yeah. yeah. If, we got, if we got, you know, close, and, and someone said, you know, and you said, hey, what are you doing tonight? So I'm not doing it. Well, why don't you come over? You know, I'm, I'm just sitting here on my own watching some TV. I'd come over. Really? And I, yeah. I'd rather just go up and watch your wife put on different outfits or whatever, your girlfriend. Well, I'd rather like go watch your wife. <laughs> I, I bet. Yeah. Well, That's what I'd like to do. Chances. I would go yeah, over. How did, how did they get close? Were they like touring together or something? Or who? Clapton? Yeah. Um, no, we, we, we first met um, with John Martin, who's a uh, Scottish songwriter. He's uh -huh. a fantastic singer songwriter. Anyway, we, we were, he was a mutual friend of both of us. Uh -huh. And so we met in a pub. And then we end up going back to, to Eric's place. Mm -hmm. And uh, careful, I, I, he's a wife stealer. Oh, yeah. He stole uh, George, George Harrison's, Harrison's wife. wife yeah. You better be careful around that guy. Well, that's why he's he not to, to be trusted. He's <laughs> he so smart. So Eric can't wife. find his girlfriend. <laughs> smart man. Now I understand why you're in Switzerland. <laughs> he is not an honorable. You know that he used to go watch movies with George Harrison. He took his wife, yeah. Yeah. Patty. It's oh, a whole I know. thing. I thought Patty is a good good friend of mine. Really? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. You can't trust anybody. All is not what it appears to be. This new song is called Eric, Get Out of My Bedroom with My Hot New Young Girlfriend. <laughs> All right, Phil, let's do something from your new CD. Let's, uh, this is, uh, now you... Oh, okay. All right, now you recorded... <laughs> well, no, I mean, you know, I, I mean... Now, I yelled I'm during here, the commercials. I'm not here to promote my, I mean, my record. I mean, my, well, yes. my record's out. If someone wants to buy it, that's great. Well, All then right. why are yeah. you here? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here if well, you're not here to promote your record? I've, I've been asking myself that. <laughs> <laughs> There's now, really a reason. This new coming. song is called Eric, Get Out of My Bedroom with My Hot New Young Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and you wrote this after Eric Clapton came visiting you. Isn't this correct? <laughs> Why don't I call out a few songs? We'll do like a medley kind you of thing. Me. All right, you do a little bit of each. Okay, all right, all right, wait a second here. Um, we, we picked out some songs, okay? I don't care anymore? Uh, okay, I don't care anymore. Oh, great. Oh, you don't want to do that one? No, 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 he just, he just oh, has right, to remember right. it. All right, wait, wait. We're just going to 
do a verse. You know. Do a verse. I'll just call him out, all right? Well, I want to ask a question. Well, when uh -oh. you're on tour. No, yeah, okay. it's a, Go it's ahead, a yeah. music question. Go ahead. <laughs> you're allowed no. to ask me the questions. We're musicians. <laughs> Go ahead. No, when you're on tour now, do you do Genesis songs as well as uh, solo uh, stuff? No, no, we, we just do my stuff. There's enough of my stuff to choose from without complicating. You screw Genesis, right? Well, That's I just it. Wondered. Don't want to do his own it stuff. It just occurred to me. I <laughs> yeah, about yeah. That. All right, here, I'll, I'll yell out another one. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, Susudio. Can you do that one? Another question? <laughs> <laughs> keep throwing money at him. We'll keep playing. Wait a minute. That uh, sounds great. Why did you decide to break up with Genesis? Because <laughs> he wanted well, to make more money. Excuse me? He was writing me? all the good songs. I got songs. Phil Collins here. I don't have to speculate anymore. <laughs> Nothing to speculate. Um, no, you see, well, Genesis, we write all the songs together. Yeah. So, um, no, we, we, uh, I was in the band 25 years, and I figured that that's, a, that's enough time. You know, I, I would like to do something else in my life mm -hmm. before I die. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. You know, there's other things to do, and uh, Daryl's uh, over there like, oh, again like with what? this. What does he want to do? Put him in the damn band again. Let's make some money. <laughs> <laughs> now you know, sometimes it's uh, if you got to clear some space in your life, you want to do other things. And there's only 24 hours in my day, so I figured, you know. Enough is enough. I know. Were they I calling, saying they wanted to get together and do no. some work? Again? Calling every five minutes. What are you kidding? <laughs> of course. <laughs> tell the truth, Daryl. Am I right? <laughs> yes. Now Tony and Mike, uh, they, they kind of go and tell them the truth. <laughs> what is the truth? Though? What is the truth? <laughs> you don't know the truth. All right, let's try another. Look on. The truth is not that. interesting. That's what. The that's, truth. that's right. Truth is, he wants to do stuff on his My, own. That's I all. I just wondered if they were calling. You know, yes. they weren't calling. They, they they kind of they were a little bit. Disappointed that an era had passed. What's it like when you go in to tell the rest of the band you're leaving and uh, you're going to go do your own thing? That must have been beautiful. I would well, have loved no, to have been there. Well, no, you get someone else to do. Oh, you did. Oh, Smart. Really? <laughs> yeah, who'd you get? <laughs> you get? Get a hit man to go in there. <laughs> Probably, yeah, that's a smart move, actually. I wouldn't want to tell these guys. No, I, we, we sat down and talked about it. And they, they kind did of you realized, Yeah, they realized they, it could have been them saying it. There's 25 years, you know, God's sake. I record, write, write, record. This is how I write, by the way. Yeah. Same exact thing. Yeah, it's shame it doesn't come out so pretty. Now, when you write, mostly is it words or, or music that comes first? Well, when it's the best time is when it's you, you start playing and the, the lyrics come. Just flow. And most of my lyrics the way i write is like i would just open my mouth and and, and start i mean this is when I've, I've got my little studio which is actually smaller than this and i've got and i start writing uh, it can be a drum machine pattern that starts something off or it can be a keyboard sound it can be anything and then when i start 
when I start recording my little bits that eventually I record, write, write, record. This is how I write, by the way. Yeah. Same exact thing. Yeah, it's same. It doesn't come out so pretty. All right. Yeah, so Psychedelic B comes out of me. All right? I wrote a song. You did? Yeah, it's just awful. That's all. But the same process. But he's in the same <laughs> I mean, So what if it was a bad song? It will be a certain kind of thing that you'll always want from me. certain fruit that's only given by the psychedelic bee. I can't thank Phil Collins enough yeah. for coming in here we'll today. Uh, okay, well, let me begin. <laughs> okay. Get on your knees. All right, pull your pants off. I'll thank you. Um, Phil Collins, of course, uh, has a new CD out. Even though he's not here to promote it, I might as well mention it. You mention it. I'll mention it. Dance into the Light is the name of the uh, CD. There it is. I'll is show it, it to the camera. Dance into the Light. Dance into the Light, right? Okay. Am I reading I that right? Yeah. I see a figure out if you were saying dancing to the light no, or... No, dance uh, into, into the light. The light. Okay. Out of the woods. <laughs> out of the woods. Whatever the hell that means. I guess he was going through a tough time. Yeah. Man, you got a lot of tough times. <laughs> well, that's good. It's good for the music. Who cares what you go through personally as long as you get to the music. Yeah. That's all. Well, the fact is that everything is good now. It is. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's good. That's the most important. Do you get a great deal of joy out of creating a song or is it tough? Oh, no, it's, it's, if it's tough, it's usually a problem, but I know I, yeah. it's the best feeling, you know, I mean, when you, you don't write a record for other people, you don't write songs for other people, you know, when they're finished, then you think, well, I wonder uh -huh. who's going to like this, yeah. or, or I hope they like this one, but the time you're writing it, you really, it's for you. Hmm. Phil, isn't it like taking a dump in a way, oh. like, you know, when you, 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 you it comes out of you, Reduce it to and the then you look at it, <laughs> well, yeah, well, Phil, Phil <laughs> understands what I'm talking about, I don't mean to be coarse, in but. My, in my first band, in my first band, the guy yes. told me that sneezing, yes, and uh, orgasm, yes, and taking a dump, as you quite aptly, yes. so poetically put it, yes, um, <laughs> thank you, are three of the, of the most satisfying <laughs> things in the world, emotions, yeah, and songwriting. Yeah. Yes. The close. So, so right uh, right kind of a close fourth. Fourth. Oh, <laughs> fourth. Are you a religious man? You must be like, because like, I mean, all of a sudden this stuff comes to you, these songs, right? So it makes you religious, you think doesn't you believe it? In God like maybe like some force puts it in you, or God, like maybe <laughs> you're just really good. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the difference? Yeah. No, I'm not a very religious person. Right. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a very religious man. No. Right. There's, there's something. I guess there's something up there somewhere. But, uh, and everybody has their own version of it. Phil knows when he dies and I die, we just lay in a box, a box yeah, and worms box. eat you. That's it. You don't go anywhere. That's pretty much it. I want to know if he likes anybody new. Yeah, he does. New. I think the police are a new band. <laughs> yeah. Who are the other musicians you uh, respect? Um, Howard Stern. <clears throat> That's a songwriter, Howard. Right. <laughs> Clapped and he's got to say that because I'm... Shush! Hmm. Uh, um, Oh, 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 oh. Leslie West? He doesn't yes. respect anybody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ask me who I respect in radio. Zero. <laughs> I know it ain't Ringo, that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh Ringo's a great drummer. Oh, me, my, my. Is he sure, really? No, come on. He's a great drummer. Oh, yeah, yeah. you blow him out the door. No, come on, be honest. But he's a, I'm a different kind of drummer. He's yeah, you can actually keep a rhythm. Drummer. All right, all right. Well, who do you respect? And, well, um, uh, as, as, as people that write songs, <laughs> Say a guitar player, people that write songs that I would actually wish that I could write. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, right. Stephen Bishop writes wonderful songs. No. Yes. Really? Yeah. Paul John. Brady. Paul Brady is an Irish songwriter. Uh -huh. oh. He writes songs I wish I could write. Never heard John of Martin's a Scottish songwriter. Never heard of him. I know. This is why I'm talking to you about right, it. Right, because right. people should hear about it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. These mm. guys are these guys are unsung heroes. Really? Yeah. Well, Stephen wonder. Bishop wrote uh, Separate, Separate Lives. Lives yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Who cares? Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You don't anyway. like any of the new guys, right? <laughs> I, like, I, like, I, like, <laughs> yeah. I wish I could be like this. Yeah, well, but no one wants no, to be no, like no, this. I don't, I don't. no, you don't. No, you no, want to get along in the world. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to... No, I want to know if he likes anybody new. <laughs> yeah, he does. New. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there's some bands I like. The, the, I mean, there's... Uh, well, they're not new. I mean, I think the police are a new band. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like, well, I'm a like big fan of the Gin Blossoms. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of a band in England called Dodgy. Who are like they're better than Oasis, you know. Really. And in England, the Oasis are huge. Well, uh, Europe, they're, yeah, they're real big. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, it's a different place across the pond, and they they didn't do so well over here, did they? Oasis? Not at all. I did all right. Screw well, those not guys. when they came over live. <laughs> anyway, anyway, there's some good bands out there. There's a lot of good young bands now that I like because the music is has got melody again. You yeah. Know? So it's like it seems to me that it's kind of influenced. New music is good. Directly yeah. from, from the things that I like, like the Birds and the Beatles uh -huh. and stuff. You know, right. Which has got a melody, but it's also fresh. 
Well, Phil, thanks for coming in. You sound pleasure. great. Thanks yeah, real pleasure. Me. And I want to thank the guys for coming in with you, yeah, too. Daryl and uh, Daryl. Hey, Daryl, how do you say your last name? I don't want to say it wrong. I don't want to that, screw up here. Stermer. Stermer? Yeah. yeah. You play one hell of a guitar, man. That was really great. I've known Daryl for, for 19 years. Really? Yeah, 19 You guys years. ever see each other's penises? Uh, ah. I don't believe we have. Uh, you guys, all the years you know each other, you never saw each other nude? Well, um, I think... Why don't you do it now? <laughs> do it now. Show each other. <laughs> we looked. We couldn't find him. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Oh, I bet you Phil's big. I'll show you something I'm proud of, but everyone's going to hey. out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, and also, I want to say uh, thank you to Brad Cole for playing the keyboards this morning. And, uh, That's Cole. C-O-L-E is pronounced Sturmer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. But thanks, guys. And thanks, Phil. And good luck with the new CD.